This is Fire Dreaming. I just brought her in from the shed where she's lived for four years since I packed her up because we were going to sell the house. That would be 2006 when the market dried up and no one even came to look. Right next to her is Chasing the Quarter Moon. These are some of my earlier pieces. When I first started working in clay, I was doing standalone until I discovered that standalone doesn't sell very well. Lately, I've been thinking about making these bigger because I really enjoyed making them in the first place. This is all on top of a table. I spent a little time making tables with ceramic tops on them. They're fun to make, they're pretty. Um, sometimes the grout doesn't work and I think for a while I was using grout that was old and that'll make a difference. But um, as soon as my living room is finished, we have it torn up right now because we're going to put a floor in it. That would be the kitchen floor that I scrubbed yesterday. Here is my living room right now, the way it's been for a little while. We've got the walls painted. And we're going to put a floor in that matches this floor that we put in, oh, I don't know, five Your or six eyes, years ago. Um, we need the floor because we had fish. rugs in there. And here are two things fish. which make Don't me smile a lot. This is Swinyo Doggy. Say hi, Swinyo Doggy. Are you a good girl? You're my good girl. Works in minutes. And this is and Gracie Girl, so who is going to come see you. Hi, Gracie. Because it's not just Are you a good allergies, girl? It's your eyes. These are the reason we pulled the rug out, out in the living room. Because they liked the rug way too much for things that should have been done outside. So that's why my house is a mess in the living room. This is on my back deck. I have run out of room in my studio, so I am putting things out in the yard. They will last through most any weather except for wind. Wind can knock limbs down and they can break. This is my pond. I love my pond. It's very peaceful. And in it we have goldfish. You can see that gold, that's some of the goldfish. We keep about 13 in here. I think the most we've ever had is 15. We don't feed them. They take care of themselves. They breed in here. We've been down as low as 7. But they stay right around 13. This is searching for Persephone. One of the first heads that I made back when I was doing standalones. Dragonfly from my son. Chimes. Made lots of chimes for a couple of years and then found that they don't sell either, so now most of them are in my yard. Our Lady of the Yard. She's about 12 inches tall. She's been out for about six years now. She made it through the snow last year with no problem. Decorations on my fence. These are all torsos. They run about 22 inches. I think the longest one there is 22 inches or 23 inches. Uh, the middle one is a two-piece torso. So I could make her longer, but my kill will only take up to 24 inches standing. This is a bell I got out in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, the first weekend my husband and I went away together. That would be 27 years ago. This is the gravestone for our first pug, Emily, who we had for 14 years. She lived to be 15 years. Um, like the two that we have now, we got her from a friend who needed a place for her. Uh, we've never bought one directly we always seem to get rescues which works just fine.
this is the garden at the bottom of my steps. Uh, my son built the garden for me and I put stuff out here when I don't have a place for it inside. And I'm not ready to break it up yet. It's another piece from when I was making standalones. She's a wall hanging. This is a fairy house. One of the ones I didn't take up to Emory Gardens. I took them too. These are little garden spikes. I leave them in the pots that have perennial so that I don't plant an annual in them uh, before the perennial comes back in the spring. Back here is another torso. She's been out here for a while. She's pretty grown over. Another chime. That chime was from my real estate agent when we bought this house in 1994. It's great, makes great noise. Here's a goddess. She's not chime really, she's just a hanging, pretty hanging piece. We got her in California on the coast. I gave my mother that cat when I was 10 years old um, and have always kept it because I like it. It's been back in the shed. That's a piece of petrified wood next to it from the petrified forest when we went out from there. That was a legal one. We bought it from the gift shop at the petrified forest. These are rocks that we collect. We collect rocks everywhere we go. This must have been when we had the car as this is bigger. I collect small rocks when I have to, well, mostly small rocks if we have to go on the airplane. Sometimes we carry them on in our luggage. There's another mask. Here's another statue, another time, some totems. Totems for me are all about healing. These are pieces that are broken or didn't work or things that I found. These are shells from the Outer Banks. I like broken shells. Because like the totems, it's as if something fell apart. And when it came back, it was different, but more beautiful in its own way. And that reminds me that when Things don't quite work the way I want them to work. It really doesn't matter. Something will be made of it and it will be beautiful. Here's a two foot by four foot piece that I made. Um, it's not permanently mounted. It's, it's, it's affixed impermanently to a two, by four, uh, two foot by four foot board. It can be installed anywhere somebody wants it installed. It's been outside for about four years too, I think. Maybe more than that. I think I was making these in 2004. Hold on. I was right. 904. I was going to try to make a full standing piece. Um, never did get around to that. It didn't quite work the way I thought it would couldn't solve the problems that went with the piece of art so she just wound it up right here uh, at the top of my driveway and next to her is a piece that I broke on purpose to see how it would work if I put it back together again never did really finish it so here she is outside 
just being colorful. More chimes. I made the top on the bird bath, but it's got a hole in the middle of it because we have mosquitoes, so we don't have a bird bath. We just use the pond for them. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this very short informal tour of my yard. Have a great day.